like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. When it comes to our body, we're never satisfied with how it looks. Whether you're keen on looking smaller or bigger, you want to explore all the possible means of enhancing your looks. Here are 10 bodybuilders that took their insatiability too far. Number 10. Trevor Smith Trevor Smith wasn't interested in any professional competition. However, he was famous in the bodybuilding community. Rather than go on stage to compete with his fellow muscular men and win prizes, he chose to write articles, coach, and run his own bodybuilding business called Nuclear Nutrition. He even created a workshop regimen called Beauty Failure Training. Aside from all the activities that made him famous, he was known for being too huge. Trevor stood at 6'1 and weighed over 400 pounds. Unfortunately, he didn't follow due process to get that big. Not only did he train excessively, but he also used steroids to achieve artificial size. All the extra weight had ripple effects on his internal organs. This meant that he was unknowingly putting pressure on his internal heart. He died in 2004 after suffering a heart attack. Number 9. Andreas Munzer People take steroids to look bigger and earn the respect of other bodybuilders. However, they are not the only supplement in the market that gives a sense of belonging. To achieve muscle definition, it's common for bodybuilders to take diuretics which rids the taker's body of water and dehydrates it completely. The effect of this supplement is that it shrinks the skin and the tissues on the surface of the body. It turns men into giants and displays their anatomy. Andre Musner subscribed to this technique but went a step further by reducing his body fat to nothing. This resulted in a never-seen-before muscle definition. Even though his body mass helped him win many competitions, it aided his downfall. Due to the constant intake of dangerous chemicals and an unhealthy diet, his organs began to fail. He was later admitted to the hospital after he reported severe stomach pain. What followed next was multiple organ failure and eventual death. What was more heartbreaking was his swollen heart, which was twice the normal size. Number 8. Sally McNeil Sally McNeil was not much of an award-winning bodybuilder. Her major achievement was winning some Armed Services Physique Championships while she served in the Marine Corps. Despite her steroid use, she didn't bring home any medals. This didn't absolve her of the usual side effects that should naturally occur. In her case, they were so severe that she shot and killed her husband, a fellow bodybuilder, on Valentine's Day in 1995. During her trial, her lawyer argued that she was a victim of domestic abuse and killed her husband out of self-defense. Well, her late husband's defense had a stronger argument. They proved to the judge that she has a history of aggression and violent outbursts since her previous marriage. They cited instances of her attacking innocent people, assaulting a police officer, and attacking a helpless spectator. Testing showed she had steroids in her system. She was later sentenced to 19 years in prison for second-degree murder. Number 7. Chad Brothers Regardless of how you try to blend exercise and drugs, they never meet. There would always be a counter-interaction that would have negative effects on the body. The Chad Brothers fell off an elliptical machine at Gold's Gym in Colony, New York. Their immediate action to this was going on a rampage and destroying the gym and office equipment. They even went to the extent of attacking other customers. When police arrived at the gym, they shot the boys with a taser. When an officer started to cuff one of them, he grabbed the taser and fought back. As the fight intensified, he was tased twice more. Thanks to six other police who intervened, he was held and cuffed. When he was taken to the hospital, it was later discovered that he had PCP and steroids in his system. Number 6. Greg Valentino Greg Valentino was famous for holding the record of the biggest arms of the most hated men in the bodybuilding community. Unlike most professional bulkers, he didn't attempt to bulk his whole body. Rather, he focused on his arms. Although he managed to get big while exercising naturally, he wasn't satisfied. 
He wanted more out of the sport. He began taking steroids and testosterone that made his arms grow to a massive 27 inches. He was excited at how speedily his arms increased in size. This was the motivation to continue. Valentino was carried away with injecting steroids and he forgot to change his needles. He kept reusing needles without sterilizing. This negligence, along with getting hit with a baseball bat, caused an abscess in his arms. Rather than seek professional medical care, he chose to handle this wound himself. When he didn't achieve any success with treating himself, he went to the hospital where the doctor cut the arms open to clean out the abscess. Luckily, all this did was cause a large scar on his bicep. Number 5. Dean Warmby Dean Warmby was an English bodybuilder who spent most of his life taking steroids. He had an impressive physique with over 240 pounds of muscle. It didn't take long for the repercussions of his decisions to start to show forth. It came in the form of liver cancer. He was diagnosed with liver tumors in 2010, and by 2015, when he died, he had gone from a muscle monster to a bed-bound warrior. After his death, an inquiry revealed that the major culprit was the steroids and all the other drugs he took to stay huge. His partner Charlotte told the press that she suspected that he used steroids because his muscles were unbelievably big but claimed he stopped taking drugs after they were married. When he fell ill, he stopped taking steroids and resorted to natural methods to restore his health. Before he died, he took nearly 200 natural remedy capsules daily. These natural remedies may have worked if he quit early when the liver wasn't damaged. Number 4. Romario Dos Santos Elvis even though you can describe Romario Dos Santos Elvis as a bodybuilder, he didn't build anything. This is because he didn't dedicate his time to lifting heavy weights and taking protein shakes. Rather, he injects his muscles with synthol, a special oil that artificially enlarges the muscles. As you can see, his addiction to large muscles caused him to lose his health. Elvis's addiction caused him pain as the toxins from the oils were putting his kidney at risk. Despite all the disadvantages, he went ahead to inject himself until regular needles couldn't penetrate his muscles. Instead of quitting, he purchased veterinary needles like the type used on bulls and continued. Eventually, his muscles became too hard and the pain was unbearable. The doctors warned that the only option left was amputation of his arms. Luckily for him, he didn't reach the point of no return before he had a change of mind about his addiction. Number 3. Ruben Arzu Police in Colton, California arrested a 300-pound bodybuilder called Ruben Arzu. They said he was under the influence of steroids and had other drugs when they found him sitting naked. He had just returned home from a party, but instead of going home, he sat on a couple's porch the couple was scared for him and tried to phone the police. What followed next was a swift opposition and attack from the man whom they wanted to help. They were badly injured in the process. While the man received severe head trauma from the beating, the woman was thrown around by the lunatic and suffered facial injuries. When the police arrived at the scene, it took the intervention of four officers with stun guns and four sets of handcuffs to restrain Arzu. If it was only alcohol he took that night or had been taking all along, his reaction wouldn't have been this violent. He was arrested and charged with attempted homicide. Number 2. Mustafa Ismail Mustafa Ismail is an Egyptian bodybuilder who followed the footsteps of Greg Valentino by focusing all his attention on the arms. He was keen on setting a new world record and was fortunate to achieve it. His biceps measured nearly 31 inches, making it the biggest at the time. Investigations showed that he used other artificial means of achieving this size. Because he cheated, his record was removed from the Guinness Book of World Records. He's believed to be a fan of synthetic oils that artificially bulk his biceps. Even though he denies this fact, it's hard not to believe what people say. 
Number 1. Greg Kovacs Greg Kovacs hails from Niagara Falls in Canada. He's a professional bodybuilder of remarkable dimensions. He was well over 6 feet tall and weighed around 330 pounds for competitions and 400 pounds off-season. His arms measured 25 inches while his chest was 70 inches and his legs a massive 35 inches. He reportedly developed over 27-inch arms in the prime of his career. In June 1997, he appeared on the cover of Flex magazine. Like most people on this list, he was big on hormones, steroids, and a few other things that helped him gain weight. He dominated his competitors and made them look like children. This made his victories at competitions a walk in the park. Like Trevor Smith, he was answerable to his health, and the high doses of drugs and extra weight did his health no good. He died from a heart attack in 2013 at age 44. Until next time, adios.